Hey YouTubers, this is Ryan. Today we're going to talk about how to make a split screen music video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just look here and you can see some of mine that I've made in the past. Some people use acapella for this. It's an app that's popular. I like to do it in iMovie and I will walk you through that step by step. First thing you're going to want to do is use QuickTime. Here, I have recorded myself three different times with three different instruments. Ukulele, guitar, and xylophone. The important thing is when you record yourself, you count in something to the effect of one, two, three, four. You'll see it here in my ukulele video. One, two, one, two, three, four. Pretty good. won't bore you with that. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to take that video and share it to your smartphone. If you don't know how to do that, just go to the video. Right click on it. Come on right click. There we go. Go to share. Go to messages. And you can share that to your smartphone. Once you have that first video of the ukulele on your smartphone, all you'll want to do is put in headphones and play along to it. So for your second video, it will look something like this. Be sure to count in. As you can see in the guitar video, I was listening to the previous ukulele video and I counted along with the intro 1, 2, 3, 4. You'll want to repeat the same process with another instrument, and however many you like. Uh, I did a xylophone a third time, and you will hear me count in all over again. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, once you have all of those videos saved to your desktop, you will want to open iMovie. Now, I've started a project in iMovie, and I'm not going to do a tutorial in iMovie at the moment, so hopefully you know how to do some of this. Start a project and import all of the videos of the instruments that you just took. So we're going to take guitar, xylo, ukulele, drag them over here, which I've already done. Oops. Okay, first, we are going to go to backgrounds. Now think of backgrounds as the color of the border that you want to use in between your frames. So if you have a split screen with four frames, whatever color that border is going to be, think about that as your background. We're going to choose white. Put it down here. Go to Info and make it however long your song is. Right now it's set to four seconds. We're going to set it to 40 because that's how long our video was. Go back to My Media. Take that first video. Drag it down here and you are going to want to find the spot where you counted out. Oh, no, you're not going to want to do that right now. You're just going to want to make a frame and save it. So go up here to Cutaway, go to Picture in Picture, change that, drag it over here, expand it out, click OK to save that, and tweak the sound any way that you want. One, two, one, two, three, four. If your sound levels are low or you need to adjust the equalization, you have minor adjustments up here in the soundbar icon. Uh, you can make it flat, you can make it loud, you can reduce the treble, etc. Play around with the settings, get a sound you like, and go to File, Share, File, and save it somewhere on your desktop. We'll call this frame one. So song title, frame one. I've already done that. So we will go ahead and take that and drag it back into iMovie. All right. So once you've got a video with your first frame, you're going to want to repeat the same process for the second video. So we will take guitar. And before we do that, we actually need to find a marking spot where we can align the two videos. So find where you said one, two, three, four, pick a number and mark it. I like to pick the number two. One, two, one, two. So right there in that second two, I can see the peaks in the valley of the audio. It looks like this is two. Two. It is. Two. two. Click. Go up here to mark. Add marker. 
go ahead and mute this track by going to volume, clicking the mute button. Now take your second video, drag it down here. Again, you'll want to make this a frame by going to the video overlay icon, changing it from cutaway to picture in picture. Drag it where you want it, how you want it, giving yourself a gap to represent a border, and then click OK. Now we're going to want to find the same two that we marked in the first video so that we can align them. One, two, one, two, three. So I heard that two right around here. Two, three, one, two, three. We will go to add marker, and it should be right about there. Go ahead and trim some of the fat off of this video. And match up those two markers. If they don't automatically align, you need to turn on snapping. Go up to view, go down to snapping, and enable snapping, or click the shortcut which is in. Take this back off of mute, and see how the two clips line up. One, two, three, four. That is not off mute. One, two, three, four. Now, this is where you're going to want to do some minor mixing adjustments. There really aren't options like this in iMovie, but if you do go up to the little soundbar icon, you can again mess with the EQ, reduce the treble, increase the treble. Over here, you can add audio effects if you want to put on reverb for your guitar. Uh, whatever you want to do, make it sound the way you want it to sound. And once you are ready, go to File, go to File, go to uh, Share, go to File, and call it Song Title Frame 2. Save it out. I've already done that. And just keep repeating this process with every instrument. Uh, I repeated the same process with the xylophone, saved it out, and called it final. And then I went up here to speed, and I adjusted the speed a little. Because I like my songs to sound a little fast, it's kind of funny, it's kind of cool, and it's kind of novelty. You don't have to do that. And hopefully that was a brief and very educational tutorial on how to make a split screen video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And please uh, like if you like the video, comment if you like the video, and subscribe to my other videos where you can see more of my music. Thanks a lot, YouTube. See you later.